Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting episode where I teach you how to record in Minecraft. Step by step by step. So here we go. We're going to look up Fraps first, the trial version. Just go to Fraps.com, go to download, and it will let you download the trial version. Just click that, and uh, as you can see, I've already done it. I'm not going to go ahead and install the trial version since I have the full versions and I don't want to mess up all of that. So yes, you can download this. Uh, it does have some limitations. You can only do 30 seconds and it puts a watermark on your screen. But really, if you're just starting out, this is a good way to uh, show what you got. And if you really want to buy it right here, I think it's uh, it's $37. So it's really cheap application. Now when I, we go to the Sony Vegas, that's not such a cheap application. That's like 600 So let's go ahead and look up Sony Vegas real quick. Just put Sony Vegas in the Google bar. Right here, first one. Um, downloads, trials and demos. Sony Vegas, Vegas Pro, right here. Just click that. Uh, you want to put this build in, just click download. It'll let you download that build, like down here. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Cancel it, because I already have it. But you just download that and you install it normally. Next, next, next. Applications to install are fairly simple. But to use them, they can be kind of difficult. So here we go. Now what I do to start my recording, I'm always going to open up Fraps. It's going to stay usually on my second screen. You guys don't see my second screen, but I do have a second screen that I just pop it up to the top. But I usually put it up there just so I can see it. And I usually put the folder, which I'm saving, because if you go into movies, these are the only settings that you really need to change. Don't change anything in here. Don't change anything in here. In movies, this is where you want to change. Folders to save movies in. This is where you're going to save your content in. This is really important because if you forget where you saved your content in, you're not going to be able to find it. Oh, hold on. i got to change my default mic. Default mic back to my Astros. I have two mics set up. So Now, this is another crucial thing is when you uh, start... Whichever mic that is your default mic is going to show up right here. To clear that out and get a new mic, as far as I know, you have to restart the application. Which isn't too much of a pain, but it can be sometimes. See, as you can see, it says Astro Chat now. Okay, so you want Windows Sound Recorded. That way you get the sound of Minecraft playing in the background. And then you want Recorded Extension to your microphone. So you want your microphone so you can talk over the content. Um... Screenshots, if you want it to, you can press F10, but this is the main feature right here. You want it set to 30 frames per second, which I think it does by default. And then F9 is where your video capture hotkey is. So you press F9 and it records your gameplay. All right, so now we're going to open up Minecraft. You see at the very top bar, it says 49 frames per second. The reason why it's so low right now for me is I got Camtasia running in the background recording this for you guys. So, uh, be uh, patient on this if it lags out. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm in game, right? I'm in game, I'm playing around, I'm, I'm moving around. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, and then press F9 while you're playing. F9 again. Movie stopped. So now we can exit out, save and quit, exit out of Minecraft. Of course, yours is going to be more detailed, or something towards that effect. So now we want to go to where we save it. And if you look where we save it, we save it in Fraps videos. So go to C drive, go to Fraps videos, and uh, that's not mine, but hey. Oh, that's the camera recorder, never mind. Go right here, and this is the file. Okay, so it has recorded, so that's cool, that's what we need. We need a file to use. Next step, we need to open up Sony Vegas. Now, if you have Sony Vegas installed right, you should get this when you first see the screen. Very simple to use. Sometimes I, I like minimizing it a little bit. That way I can actually throw files in there because it does allow drag and drop. Okay, so this is where your all media is, your media bins. First thing you want to do before you start anything, and this I could be wrong by this because I do this and you can change the project size after, but I like doing this just so I make sure that the resolution's fine. So I go to uh, templates. Actually, let me show you real quick. File, new, change your template to HDV 720-30 frames per second. So you click that. Now you want to make sure that the full resolution rendering quality is on best. I just found that out the other day. It makes it look a lot better. If you saw my latest uh, single player video, it is a lot better. So 
Okay, so now we're going to click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and drag. I got to move this down a little bit. Drag and drop that one movie that we recorded onto your screen. So there it is right there. What do you do next? Well, this is your timeline down here. So you want to drag it down to your timeline. Fairly simple. It go ahead and loads up. It loads the sound file and all that. If you look into the file system where you're at, this file right here is your sound. This is what records for the sound. So it knows the sound waves. All right, so the next step's really easy. Really simple. Just go File to uh, Render As. Save it to whatever you want. Uh, say I want to save it to, I don't know, Skyblock 900. I don't know. Uh, it says Sony Vegas AVC or Sony AVC. That's what I like setting it on. This is my default setting, so it sets it to Sony AVC, best picture that I can find so far, and equals Internet 1280p to 720. Really simple to do it that way. Now you can also press the stretch to film to fill output frames. Do not letterbox, which would take those letterboxes off. But if you want to actually see the effect while you're actually going through the videos, you can go to switches to take maintain maintain aspect ratio off and now it is full screen. Alright, so now we go to file, render as, and then skyblock nine hundred again. Let's play mess that up. Nine hundred. Stretch to aspect ratio or do not letterbox. And then just click hit click hit <laughs> save and it will render out. Now this is a small film so it was like maybe thirty seconds so it's gonna take a minute, minute and a half to render out. So go ahead and sit here and watch. Well, it has fun rendering. And I will show you the differences in size. Because a lot of people are like, I need to render in fraps and I need to upload in fraps. You are taking so much time out of your day for that. Because not only, if you look, this file that I just did, it is down here at the bottom, 343 megs. That is huge for an 18 second movie. 18 seconds, 343 megs. So I'll show you exactly what it looks like after this gets done. It's probably going to be about 10 megs, 15 probably max. I don't know, maybe 30, but I doubt it. We'll see. But that is a total decrease in size. It helps out so much when you're recording. Come on, rendering Skyblock. 900. Anytime now. Alright, cool. It's done. So I usually keep my stuff in uh, movie videos. So there it is, Skyblock 900. Oh, it's 20 megs. So it's 20 megs. So if you click it, click it or tick it, it does look a little bit darker, but as you can see, the quality is just the same. So it's lagging a little bit because that's when I recorded it. It was, real, it was lagging because of Camtasia, but it's still working. So there you go. That is a simple way and an easy way to get your files out there to the internet so everyone can see it. Now, there is a special feature <coughs> sorry, that uh, you can use that I showed Poop Monster. If you record like, and this isn't for the free version, guys. You really need the max version for this. If you record like huge amounts of uh, video, if you record like two hours at a time, and uh, you want to render it all out at the same time. You can basically, if you want to split it up, see this little triangle right here, the shallow one? All right, so I move it to, I don't know, say whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Like, Oh, I'll move it to like two minutes or something like that. This is still rendering out the audio for that. It takes a while for longer files, guys. You have to be patient. Okay, so I want it three minutes. Now, if you press on the hot key bar, R, as in rabbit, you press R, it pops up this. You know, okay, so you can name it whatever you want because it really doesn't matter. So I just name it one. Now, if I want to do the same amount of time, move it over, R again, two, same amount of time, move it over, R, three. Now, those are my three files that are going to render. Now, when you go to tools, you can go to scripting. Batch render. That's what you're going to do for this. You're batch rendering. You're rendering everything all in one compilation. But it'll all be split up. Actually, let me go ahead and make these file sizes a bit smaller so I can show you how it renders out. Because I don't want to set here forever. Oh. I guess we can just... Oh. Take those off real quick. There we go. Alright, so R1. 
R2. I didn't miss the R. R3. So there we go. There's our three files. Now if I go to Tools, Scripting, Batch Render, Sony AVC again. You want to make sure you select 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, at least what I do. Uh, so, and then render regions. Render regions would mean these green regions. What, what you have selected is going to be your regions. Render project would be the whole project. And render selections would be what you actually use this bar for to select. So press OK. It'll render out the first video. Which is like 15 seconds, 18 seconds. Should have made it shorter. I'll just show you real quick. Not finish it up completely, but just show you. It's gonna name it. See how it says, uh, actually it hasn't shown up yet. Oh, it's got it saved to my documents. Anyways, you see how it says untitled Sony AVC internet 1280 by 720-30 frames per second, MP4. There is a way to change that, and I totally missed up on that. If you actually go to Tools, Scripting, Batch Rendering, at the very top it shows Untitled. It shows where it's saving it to the documents. You can change this. It'll still say, uh, like, Skyblock 1280 by 720. Zero is your first file. One is your second file. Two is your third file. And that's how it'll render out on your computer. So that's it, guys. If you have any more questions, just ask. Um, leave, a, leave a thank you in the comments if you really like this video and it helped you out a lot. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching.